My name is Daniel. Um, I am a musician. I work as a music director at a church, and I have my own artistry going on uh, under This Is DY. That's my artist name. Uh, I'm a songwriter, producer. Um, I do some session work here and there, and I play some live shows and go on tour some, sometimes <laughs> when, you know, there's no COVID going on. <laughs> Well, I was probably, I don't know. I mean, I started like piano lessons when I was four because, you know, my parents made me. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty average for most people. Um, but I think 13, 14, I was like, man, music is awesome. I think I want to do this for a living. And um, 16, I got to cut a record and the rest is history. Well, when I got the call from you, or the email from you, I was like, um, I don't know, let's, uh, let's write something and let's, you know, make it cool. <laughs> so um, Thursday, I kind of just sat around. I have um, the OP1, Teenage Engineering, or something like that, whatever, the OP1. Um, I just kind of sat around and messed with it, kind of got an idea of what kind of feel I wanted to go for. Um, and then kind of went to bed the next morning I got up and I just opened Logic. I played what I recorded on the OP1 into Logic and then added whatever else in there, like real drums. And um, yeah, <laughs> kind of just felt it. <laughs> Where I went to school, they, they kind of used the word or the phrase song seed. So a song seed is when you have an idea, like could be a word or two words, and it kind of flourishes into this like, you know, song, right? So a song C could be a melody, could be um, a phrase, you know, on guitar or a vocal melody, uh, lyrics or a title, right? It makes you feel something. Um, so from there, you kind of just go with the feeling. Um, and there, there are different ways to write a song. Sometimes you have a chord progression, you want the listener to feel a certain way, so you write it in that, you know, feeling. Um, sometimes you have stuff to say, like, for example, you, you know, go through a breakup. Now you're sad and you're depressed and now you're like, okay, I need to write about my feelings. <laughs> so you write about your sad breakup or your life or um, how fun it is to be on a motorcycle. I don't know, something like that. Man, motorcycles, uh, that's something else, man. Um, I mean, growing up, my dad um, would always tell me, like, yeah, even if you're super passionate about this one thing, like music, for example, and it's your hobby right now, because, you know, you're going to school and you're studying, like, history and math and things you don't like, so music is your escape, right? Because it's not work. Um, but if you do choose music as work, then no matter how much you love music, someday it will feel like work. And I mean, the truth is sometimes it does feel like work. <laughs> uh, yeah, for the most part, it's fun, right? Um, but sometimes it still works. So getting on a motorcycle is my way of escaping music for a little bit. And I mean, there's nothing like getting on a bike and just ripping the throttle open and feeling that excitement, I mean, wisely, <laughs> don't ride dumb. But um, yeah, it's kind of my way of going out. I'm actually trying to start a, a vlog or a YouTube channel. Maybe next year, I'm gonna talk about why motorcycles and how motorcycles influence my music. So maybe next year you can stay tuned. Um, as far as COVID goes, man, I have nothing much to say, unfortunately. We just have to, you know, wait it out and hope that the leaders of the country make good decisions and that people wear, you know, their masks. <laughs> well, as far as getting in the industry and um, doing something in the industry, I think it's a different question altogether. I think um, many times we're, as musicians, as people, artists, um, we're bombarded with the concept that success has to equate to, you know, being on the Billboard 100 or the Top 40s chart or something like that. 
um, or, you know, jazz or winning a Grammy or whatever. But I think music um, isn't pigeon or shouldn't be pigeonholed to just that. And that alone doesn't mean success. I mean, think of the person who wants to have a family and, you know, three kids and a wife or whatever, right? Um, if they could just make a living doing music and supporting them their day to day and live a comfortable life, that itself is success. Or if you're a, an artist and you just love the art and you want to write songs that relate to people and help people through a tough time and give them hope, if they get to do that, that itself is success, you know? So redefining success for yourself as a new musician is an important thing. So yeah, it's okay if you're not famous and you're not making dough like Ariana Grande. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. What matters is you make a difference in the world and you make a difference in yourself through the music. I love that this has this like, I don't know if it's carbon fiber, but it kind of looks like carbon fiber, except it's like white. I love that color. <laughs> and the gold with this white and this gold and black, I mean, it really is something else. And you can see this logo. Not sure if you're gonna zoom in, but it's really badass. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, and um, typically with this guitar that I have, um, that I brought today, this neck pickup, it's a P90. And um, it would typically have a ton of buzz just because it's a single coil coupled with the humbucker. I mean, typically it's two humbuckers and you would just cancel out the noise. But I mean, just this one single coil, you would get a ton of noise. But with this cable, ah, now it's in blue. Um, with this cable, I didn't get that noise that I was anticipating. It was pretty cool. And there's no um, tone loss or degradation in tone. It's, it's really fantastic. And the build quality is amazing. So I am writing a couple things. I've got an instrumental album um, in the works. I've got um, kind of this like film score idea in the works as well. And I'm releasing a bunch of older songs that I've written and just never... Uh, you know, put out or recorded. So that's all in the works. And I think later in 2021, you can expect to see something. Um, but yeah, you can follow me if you like my music um, or, you know, what you've seen today. Uh, Daniel YJK, that's Instagram. I think that's the only platform I'm the most um, active on anyway. Um, or if you like bikes and you want to, you know, nerd out bike stuff, you can contact me. Um, but yeah, if you want to check out Spotify, it's this is one word. This is period D Y. This is D Y. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me, Consign Music. This is awesome. What an honor and what a privilege. Thank you.